Hey folks, Friday again, Champagne Friday with me. You remember now, Richard Julin, Champagne Club, Pommery. Last time we had the two Normandy champagnes from this very legendary champagne house in Reims. Today we're going to drink the vintage wine, this one, the 2006, and the Cuvée de Prestige, the best they can make, the Louise Pommery 2004. Okay, what's the difference? First of all, they are very close to each other when it comes to quality, in my point of view. They are, every drop is made of Grand Cru grapes. In the vintage wine, always 50-50, eight villages. In this one, in Louise Pommery, always three vintage villages. Uh, Allí for all the Pinot Noir, Avis Cramont, the best parts of the vineyards, of course, in the Prestige Cuvée. So, what can we expect? Normally, since I tasted almost every vintage ever made, I would say that it's a little bit more full-bodied style in the regular vintage. It's a little bit easier to understand it fully from the start. It takes slightly longer to really appreciate the finesse and uh, the royal grandeur of this exceptional, slow-developing Cuvée Prestige, as is the case with Louise. So let's see. I'm a little bit hesitating, which should I start with, since we have a very almost plump, very rich, full-bodied, fruity style of vintage as 2006 is, and the more lean and elegant 2004, which is also a little bit more typical of the style of this particular cuvee. But we do it starting with the vintage. Slightly paler color in the cuvee prestige. Wow, what a, what a tremendous symphony. So rich, it could be almost too much if it wasn't for this almost skin that puts everything together and makes it melt in the nose. Really, really beautiful composition. I would say there's a certain sweetness, a certain vanilla layer wrapping all the fruit into a very nice cocon of the most lovely aromas. Unresistible, a little bit girlish in style probably, not as sincere, serious and, and uh, uh, refined, a little bit perhaps too easy to like for many people, but I love it and I'm supposed to be an expert. Beautiful, but not ready. Ready to drink if you just want to enjoy without really focus so much about all the details that you can find in this one. Since the fruit is so rich and sweet, the sweetness, the dosage is only eight grams, so it's more from the richness of the mature fruit when it was picked. I would say that it's a little bit short. It is, I'm looking for some more diversity. I'm looking for some more finesse in the taste, but it's absolutely marvelous as just a drink as it is by itself. Louise Pommery, the first vintage of this famous, today famous, took some time. Uh, Cuvée Prestige was 1979 and it's still one of the best and there's none of the Louise Pommery's that is over the hill. If you have a well-aged and well-stored Louise Pommery, they are still absolutely stunning. When I just pour them, I slightly preferred the vintage wine. Now it's the opposite. The roundness, the butterscotchy notes from Cramon is so evident here. On top of that, you have some very strict minerality and, and nice refined notes from Avis. Less of the Ayi. Ayi is not so evident on the nose. Probably more um, as giving the the body to the wine. Let's see. Mm. If you just look at it, you see the, the bubbles are dancing, lacy like necklace, pearl necklace. And that's the sensation you get on the palate as well. Very beautiful, lacy, dancing round. So many small, beautiful details. 
I find some skins of, uh, of the grapes that I, when I pick them myself in Avis. I also find some very lovely white flowers like lilies of the valley. Magnolia, orange blossom. And as I guessed, on the mid palette, that's the Ayi, the Ayi Pinot Noir going straight, letting the dance float all the way. Beautiful, but this is a wine, you cannot just drink it straight ahead. You need to be extremely focused. When you drink it this Friday or the next one, if you haven't bought it yet or don't have it in the cellar, go and open the bottle, drink it with your eyes closed. Louise Pomery. 